And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Tracking a spring snowstorm across eastern Idaho and the western half of Wyoming. Winter weather advisory in effect for parts of the upper Snake Highlands, most of the western half of Wyoming. Also for the central mountains, the winter weather advisory is in effect through tonight. We could see snowfall totals between about 2 to even 12 inches of snow, depending upon your elevations. Generally for the Jackson area, about 3 to 6. We could see 3 to 6 inches across Island Park. I think that we could see also some rain mixing with the snow, which could limit the snowfall totals at times. But even more snow is on the way for the Teton and also the Grove Out Mountain Ranges. Winter storm warning in effect for their area. Up to about 18 inches of snow is expected and along with the moisture for today we'll be dealing with the wind. Wind advisory in effect for the entire half of the Snake River Plain. Also the eastern half of the Magic Valley. This is in effect until 6 o'clock tonight. We could see gusts up to 50 miles per hour and we could even see areas of blowing dust from the north especially from Idaho Falls northward to the Mud Lake area. It's pretty windy out there right now across the Snake River Plain. Wind speeds of 21 miles per hour across Arco. 21 mile per hour wind speeds across the Driggs area and again we'll see sustained winds up to about 35 miles per hour as we move throughout the day. Temperatures this morning fortunately aren't too cold out there. 43 right now in Blackfoot, 40 in Idaho Falls. We're at 42 degrees across the Pocatello area and with temperatures in the 40s. No surprise we are seeing a mixture of rain and snow across our area and again mainly rain across the valleys but a lot of that rain and snow is staying out to our east. And we'll continue to see a lot of this moisture really building in from the west throughout the day. So definitely have that umbrella handy throughout the day today. And giving you a wider view, we do have a cold front well out to our north. This cold front will start to make its way southeastward throughout the day. That's why we'll be seeing an increase in winds. Also, constant moisture out there. And it will also drop temperatures by about 10 to even 15 degrees tomorrow morning. So a much colder morning on the way for tomorrow. Timing out that moisture for you for today, seven o'clock this morning. Again, lots of moisture out there by about one o'clock in the afternoon. Notice across the Eastern Snake Highlands, a mixture of rain and snow, all rain across the lower half of the Snake River Plain, even by about five o'clock or steadier rain. But as temperatures drop out into the evening hours, we could start to see some snow trying to mix in with that. The clouds stick around into the overnight, I think, for the Snake River Plain, we should start off dry for tomorrow. You could see a few flurries out there. High temperatures for today, though, going to be in the 40s and also those lower 50s. And then for tomorrow, again, temperatures become much cooler. Even for tonight, we'll start to see that cooling trend begin with many areas dropping below freezing. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven-day forecast leaves us with rain and wind in the forecast today. Mostly cloudy out there for tomorrow. Chance of some showers on the Thursday time frame. Across Idaho Falls, expect to see rain and wind for your area as well. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. Chance of showers come Thursday. Teton area, expect to see rain and snow today. Chance of snow showers Wednesday through Saturday. Also for the Central Mountains, rain and snow today. A few snow showers tomorrow.